Hello everybody, what's going on? This is Andrew, and today I am going to keep playing some Teamer Energy. <laughs> um, last Friday, I played a little bit with this deck, and it didn't work the way I wanted to. Um, so I kind of rebuilt the deck. We're going a little bigger today. So we've got Rekindling Phoenixes and Glorybringers in the main deck instead of some of the dorky stuff that was down here. Um, and then I added some Flame Plus Bolts and some Divide by Zeros, just for more interaction. And I'm hoping that this deck kind of gives us a, a more of a true mid-range feel versus um, the Long Tusk Stalkers that felt aggressive, but not in a good way. <laughs> um, the sideboard's pretty much the same. I don't think I changed much from the sideboard. Um, we still just want to be a mid-range deck that can out mid-range other, other mid-range decks, I guess. <laughs> um, I, I want this to work. I, I want to find a spot where a deck like this can be competitive in Historic. Um, we're not quite there yet, but we're going to hop into a couple matches with this build of Teamer Energy and see... So, see what we like, see what we don't like. Alright, getting into our first match against AM Limit here. Uh, we will play first. They're a Gigantha deck, which means they're either a Niv-Mizzet deck or a, um, a three-color sacrifice deck, usually. is can be Gigantha. Uh, we can't keep this hand. Uh, this hand's super awkward, but I think I am going to keep it and just bottom the Bristling Hydra. And then I'll just go tap land on one. And hope we find lands to draw these <laughs> these cards. Okay, so they are a Niv-Mizzet deck. This hand's not going to do well against the Niv-Mizzet deck. Harness Lightning and Flame Bust Bolt don't really do anything. Not a good way for us to start. That's fine. They don't know what we are and we know what they are though. So hopefully we can sideboard better. What do we do against this territorial copy though? Um, it's a good question. I think I want mystical disputes for sure. And then I feel like we want some of our bigger stuff, so like Torrential Gear Hulk or Chandra. I'm not sure what we're trimming for it though, because we need the Harness Lightnings to deal with the Niv Mizzets and the Kavus. Clothis also may be an option here. Um, I'll trim a cub and go up another Chandra. I'll try something like this. Yeah. I'm just leaving the two decisive denials in instead of bringing in more because I'm not sure. Like, yes, we want to counter some spells, but we don't want to dilute too much. Um, yeah. There's a decent chance this works out. Tap land on one, Aether have servant on two. I would not be surprised if they have no idea what we're playing. So hopefully they sideboarded wrong. Brought in like Grafticker's Cages or something, thinking we were Phoenix because they only saw two <laughs> two lands. Mystical Dispute's good here, I hope. Would love to find an untapped land here. So we can go untapped land, Rogue Refiner, hold up Mystical Dispute. Looks like they might just kill Servant though. Yeah. 
No land again. Definitely sucks. At least we drew a card we can cast. But we don't have enough energy to get it out of Lightning Helix range. So they can just Helix this again right now. And then we're kind of on, on empty. I do not like this pet. It keeps zapping. <laughs> and I just don't like it. Um, okay. Found a land. We can attack here. I'll just click go to damage. They have Vanishing Verse. So now do I dispute? Or do I just let the Vanishing Verse happen? I think I'll just let it happen. And play Rogue Refiner. So next turn, I'll shock this in and play Whirler Virtuoso, probably. And then I need to remember that most of their sweepers are not blue. So if I play many more creatures, I want to leave a full three mana for the dispute up. Which is probably fine. Pick up Giganta here. Okay. Oh, well now I'll just... Huh. No, I think I'll... Attack for three. Shock this in. Still go for the Whirler here. Um, this protects me against a niv at this turn. Nope, just Giganta. Okay. Let's make a couple 1-1s. One -ones. I can just play Phoenix here and hold up Dispute still. Or I can slam Glorybringer. Hmm. I think I want to get the Phoenix going. So I'll play Phoenix. It's fine. Oh, they have infinite mana with this. Oh no, it doesn't work though. Okay. So there's Kavu. Kavu can be a pain. But if they just tap this to play Niv, Dispute doesn't get it. Deputy of Detention. Yeah, I think that's worthy of a Mystical Dispute. Sure, Clothis. I can. I might be in a position where I can race the Clothis, though. So we'll attune, we'll go get red mana here. And we're just Glorybringer. Wait, are they dead for 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15? They block this, they take 12. So they're not dead. Go. And they go to six here. And 
Another Kavu, sure. Okay, they're gonna loot. I'll make a Thopter, and then I'll chump block with these two guys. And then what you got? Are you dead? Nice. Cool. Um, when I played Teamer Energy back in the day, I really liked having the flyers just to finish games off that the little guys couldn't get done. So, that felt really good. Um, Clothis, Territorial Kavu. Harness and Lightning is what we want. I still think just two Decisive Denial is fine. Though I, I could be convinced to, like, trim more cubs here. For more Decisive Denials. I'll go like one and one for both of these. All right, let's get into it. It would be great if we could pick up the win here against the Niv Mizzet deck. Um, it's I don't know. I don't. I I was gonna say it's unlikely, but I I don't know how likely or not it is. I like the sand though. The sand's fine. Not really sure what I could ask for in a better hand. So we'll attune for blue, play blue, play servant, and then we've got our pick of the three drops. Oh, they have Thoughtseize here? Okay. They took Whirler. Usually the Rogue Refiner is the more powerful card. Well, it depends. Whirler is better because it floods the board, but Rogue Refiner replaces itself and is a 3-2. So, a lot of the time just like having your Rogue Refiner die doesn't matter because it does stuff on its own. Cool. So next turn I can play Rogue Refiner and hold up Decisive Denial. And then the following turn I've got Gear Hulk up. See what they find with their expressive iteration. Another Thought Seize. Okay. That does suck. We'll see what they take. I guess they take the Gear Hulk or the or the Denial, depending on what their hand looks like. Yeah. And I have a tap land here. Okay, we have the Harness Lightning now. So we'll go Rogue Refiner. Just for three, say go. We've got the Denial to deal with a Sweeper, and we've got the Harness Lightning to deal with a, a big creature. Kind of in an okay spot here. And if I find a glory bringer, they're just dead, which is always good. And they've got Niv, so Niv resolves. They get to draw some cards. So they found they found some good stuff actually.
Okay, six. Kill Niv. And they have to discard. Um, so let's see. This deputy of Des detention might be annoying. Trying to figure out if I place Servant of the Conduit here. Or if I just hold up the Decisive Denial. I think I'm not gonna play anything else this turn. Just attack and pass. Not sure if they can cast enough spells to not just be dead here. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping they have a tap land. Like, Deafening Clarion doesn't do it. I can counter it. I guess they can drown in the lock. Yeah, they can. The Decisive Denial. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I can play Chandra, and then plus Chandra for mana, play Whirler Virtuoso. I think I'm just gonna not play the Chandra this turn. So the Servant plus Whirler here. Another Niv, huh? Okay. They hit Vanishing Verse, Expressive Iteration, Drown in the Lock. They have an untapped land, so they can drown something. Or Vanishing Verse something. Okay, I'm just gonna make a bunch of tokens here and then attack you. And then Chandra is going to basically just be a very expensive shock. Combat. All attack. And there we go. Teamer Energy picking up the win against Niv Mizzet. I think that deck's just a little too clunky, and we were able to get on board underneath them. Cool. So that last match kind of shows off why I like this more mid rangey build of the deck. You still have the draws where you get on board and put your opponent under pressure, make them answer what you do, but as we saw in that second game, having all the flyers to just deal with whatever they were doing um, was really good. It was really fun. So here, this hand's really good. I like this hand. We're playing against an, another Gigantha. So again, it's either Cat Oven, Jund, or it's another niv deck. It looks like we're playing against another niv deck. So let's... Let's see if we are just always going to be good against the visit or not. <laughs> this Flame Bless Bolt probably doesn't have text this game. Register off was nice, though. Yeah, two Niv Mizzet decks in one morning. <laughs> How weird is that? Oh, they missed land. Uh oh. Go 
Rogue Refiner here. Hitcha. I guess if they have a white hand, they could clear on me. That would kind of suck. But. Nope, just digging. Oh no. Graph Digger's Cage doesn't do it. Oh, there. They are casting it, though. <laughs> um, let's see. Do I want Glorybringer or Regisaur? I think I'd rather play Regisaur Alpha. Go. They can't have Deafening Clarion. I don't know what other... I guess they could have, like, Sweltering Suns or Anger of the Gods, but my Alpha survives, and then I can play Glorybringer. Nope, just a Territorial Kafu. Okay. So they're dead, right? So I can go Glorybringer, shoot that with Flame Bust Bolt. Yeah. Shoot that. Attack and exert. <laughs> Needed to make sure I got the exert off. Cool. Our opponent stumbled and died, just like what we saw in the previous game. Um, so what did we do? We trimmed the Sahili. Did I trim Regisaur last game? Or last match? I think so. No, I didn't. I took out the Flame Bless Bolts. And then Chandra's... Maybe I did trim Registrar. <laughs> Is it bad that I can't remember what I did like 10 minutes ago? Let's do that, I think. No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I'm just figuring stuff out, trying stuff. It's okay. It's all it's all good. Okay. Um this hand is similar to the hand we kept against the last nib deck. Um, we've got Servant into Rogue Refiner, and then we've got Harness Lightning and Decisive Den Denial to deal with either a niv Mizzet or a Sweeper of some sort. Okay. Uh, this card does nothing against us. So... Happy for them to have left that in their deck. Hmm. New plan, just play Phoenix here, I think. Yeah. The only way they can cleanly deal with this is a Vanishing Verse. I'm sure they have a couple of those, but... Hostage Taker. Okay, I've got Harness Lightning for that. That's fine. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take that back now. My Phoenix. No attacks. Say go. I have this if I need it, but I really hope I don't need it. 
because <laughs> I'm at, almost out of energy. So I kind of need to play a card like Rogue Refiner that can get me more energy. So these Aetherhems can actually do things. Shock. Hydroid Crisis for three. Okay. Um, I don't think I care about that. I think I'll just say go. Okay, breeding Pool was an excellent draw. Um, I'm just going Rogue Refiner here. And I guess I attack? Yeah, that's fine. Oh. Uh, sure. So this makes my Phoenixes not be able to do anything. Okay. Maybe I should bring in an Abrade or two. They have Hostage Taker. Stuff like that. Um... I will decisive denial this. They have a drown in the lock here. Oh, Dovin's veto, sure. Okay, I get to play Bristling Hydra on an empty board, which always feels good. So this has protected it from at least their first removal spell. And I can just start making, feeding the Bristling Hydra with Rogue Refiner energy and stuff like that. Would not be surprised if they just pick up Giganta here, yeah. Here's Rogue Refiner. Um, I'm gonna shock just so I can have furnace lightning up and then hit you for four Lightning helix sure Yep, there's Gigantha. So I have to spend one red. I go down to five. Up to eight. Eight minus five is three. Yeah, this is fine. I didn't expect the second Dovin's Veto. That's fine. Glory bringer. Glory bringer's for later, I think. Um, I'll go servant plus harness lightning here. Hit for four. The next turn can be glory bringer. Yep, next turn is Glorybringer. I'd love to find a red land. Red land? I can just divide by zero that and hit for hit for six. Hmm. Do I want to loot away something? Like, I could loot the phoenix away. That, <laughs> that feels bad. Um, I'm just going to play the glory bringer this turn.
attack with everything. Hmm, they just say no blocks, huh? Okay, that kind of makes sense then. They can loot here, gain five life. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. So I can't play Phoenix and hold up divide by zero. So I think I just play this tapped and just play Phoenix. Another clarion. Okay, I'm stopping on my upkeep here. And here I can divide by zero the graph digger's cage. so that this actually works. Attack, there you go. Still win the race in the air unless they fi found something else. Okay, loot away something. Honestly, I'm really happy they didn't loot away the cage, because now I still know that one of their cards is terrible. Defend a Niv. And Niv drew them Lightning Helix. Okay. Good game. The Clarion into Clarion there. Why don't you just kill me? I'm at one and this deals three damage. Just kill me. Okay. Um A braid feels like it could be good to blow up cage and we saw that they have hostage shaker and hydrid crisis. I don't draw a rekindling phoenix, it doesn't matter that they have cage. I guess I have gear hulk also. How do I sideboard for that though? I'm not sure what I would take out of my deck to make room for a braids, so I'm just gonna let the abrades sit there. Um, yeah, we're just gonna run it back. We got very close. I think our opponent got a little. A little lucky there to draw running Deafening Clarions. If they'd drawn any other removal spell there, um, they wouldn't have gained the life, and they would have still been dead. So, uh, This hand looks good. It's a little slow, but it's powerful. So we'll keep it.
Okay, we've got red mana this time and no blue mana. <laughs> it's funny how that works. Shock Kabu. I guess I wish I'd played Aetherhub last turn so I could have harnessed lightning that. Um... Or do I play the Whirler? Uh, I think I'll just play... Hmm. I should probably just kill this, huh? I should probably just kill their thing. A Tune with Aether would be a good draw at any point this game. Next turn, I've just got Land Phoenix. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's a blue land. I'm still going Phoenix here. I have two of my four cards in my deck that I actually care about with Digger's Cage in my hand right now. Which does suck a little bit, but what you gonna do? So yeah, now if they kill this, my little token that I get can't come back, because creature cards and graveyards can't enter the battlefield. Tap land, and nothing. I get to attack? Cool. Um, then I think I'm just going... Hydra here. I'm gonna put all my baskets in the Hydra, Hydra train, I think. They can Niv here. Yeah, they do have it. They get a Vanishing Verse, a Kavu, and that's it. size of denial. Um, again, Gear Hulk is just a 5-6 flash, thanks to Graph Digger's Cage. Um, I think I'll shock play Whirler. And then just say no attacks. I want three more energy for the Hydra to be able to outgrow the Niv-Mizzet. I'm sure my opponent only has one or two graph diggers cages, and there are plenty of games where it would not matter at all that they have graph diggers cage. And so it's really annoying that <laughs> I have Gear Hulk in my hand and they found one of their graph diggers cages again. Um, I'll put a counter on Hydra here. I want this card to be good, but every time I've had it, it's just felt just a little awkward. Like I'd rather just have a better removal spell or an actual counter spell. Yeah, I feel pretty dead here, honestly. Um, 
If I try to activate this, they can just vanish and burst it in response because I don't have enough energy to do anything else. So I think I just have to take damage here. I guess I should have waited to put counters on this. I don't know why I did it early. I was just getting... I was being impatient. And I rightfully lost. Okay. Well, two matches against Niv-Mizzet. We won one and we lost one, but we felt competitive in both. Um, I do think that that's the kind of deck that we want to play against with Teamer Energy. We want to just kind of be in a mid mid-range slugfest. Um, I still don't think I've found the right build for this deck to be, like, 100%. Um, this Decisive Denial has been divisive. <laughs> uh, I, it hasn't come up in a spot where it's been, like, the perfect draw. And that's kind of what it's supposed to do, but at the same time, sometimes I just wish it was, like, anything else. <laughs> So I think I'm going to try something else in this slot. Um, maybe negates in the sideboard or something like that. Um, I like going bigger. That's the takeaway from here. The long chest stalkers did not like it all. Big stuff, I liked a lot. So I'm going to keep playing around with how I can make this deck feel a little bit better. Um, and I'll come back with some more ideas for Teamer Energy. <laughs> expect a few more teamer energy videos from me in the next couple of weeks um this is a deck i really like and we're kind of waiting for the next set to come out anyways so i'm just gonna be messing around in historic with random t energy builds and i hope you're okay with that <laughs> so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will catch you next time